Good morning. This is Cal Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you begin your Sunday. Also have your boredom busters first this morning. The very first car was in line at 2.30 a.m. this morning. It's queued up to receive a Thanksgiving meal on Saturday. While this may seem like a lot to some, Beating South Dakota was prepared for a large turnout. As a food bank, we've been seeing the impacts of inflation for well over a year with a continuous increase in the people utilizing our programs. And that's why we know that this opportunity today to give people a traditional Thanksgiving meal is just so important um, because hunger looks different right now than you might have thought it looked before. There was no pre-registration required to receive a meal. The meals include a turkey, pie, mashed potatoes, cranberries, and more. People gathered for the 7th annual Walk a Mile in My Shoes on Saturday. The walk takes place each year during Hunger and Homelessness Awareness Week. The walk's goal is to draw awareness to the issues happening in Sioux Falls. We have, unfortunately, another long list of names to read of those that have passed away this last year that at some time in their life have experienced homelessness. And so this is a time that we can pay honor to them. Like last year it was cold, like realize how tough it is to uh, carry around your stuff and, you know, walk around downtown. And yeah, like, and then like when you see like homeless people, yeah, more motivated to help out and get involved. People walked a mile carrying 15 pounds of canned goods and other essentials to the St. Francis House, then donating the items at the end of the walk. They also put purple flags in the ground in honor of those who have passed away this last year. Let's turn our attention now to our forecast and meteorologist Adam Rutt. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Dan, and good morning, everybody. It's a quiet start to your Sunday in much of Kelgo land, but it's not clear. We do have some clouds covered to deal with, but... When that's the only blemish to the morning, we're still doing pretty well for ourselves. Here's a few downtown, 34 at the airport with a north wind at 3 miles per hour. Enjoy the day if you have the chance to do so. But if you can enjoy the day earlier, I recommend you do that. Considering we actually have something to talk about that's not above average warmth, wind, or some combination therein. Right now, though, we are in the 30s, East River 30s, and some 20s, though, out to the west and even up in northeastern Kilgo land, for that matter, which is still technically a little bit above average for this time of year. Winds are light and variable in terms of direction, in terms of actual speed. That's 5 to 10 miles per hour. Not bad, but we're going to watch as that wind picks up a little bit later in the week. Temperatures, though, are going to take a tumble with one exception this week. We'll talk about that and give you an update on your Thanksgiving and Black Friday outlooks as we go through your seven day forecast in a few minutes. Sounds good. Thank you, Adam. In Boredom Busters this Sunday, Trains at Christmas is an annual model railroad swap meet and train show sponsored by the Sioux Valley Model Engineer Society. The show is held in the north section of the Expo building located on the WH Line Fairgrounds in Sioux Falls. The mission is $7 for adults. Kids 12 and under are free when accompanied by an adult. The event runs from 10 to 4 today. The Dakota Dance Association of Yankton will be presenting Tchaikovsky's The Nutcracker Ballet at the Yankton High School Theater at 1801 Summit Street, Yankton. Today's performance is at 2 this afternoon. Over 100 local cast members, ranging from first grade to adult, will be performing in this year's productions. Tickets will be available at the door one hour prior to performance. And the 45th annual Winterfest takes place in Aberdeen today. This event includes fine and full cart. It's a perfect opportunity to find unique, one-of-a-kind gifts for all. It's open from 10 this morning to 4 this afternoon at the Civic Arena at 203 South Washington Street in Aberdeen. Adam, what do you say? We look like a pretty uh, pleasant Sunday ahead of us. Well, for the first half, yeah, especially. Second half, things do start to unravel. Right now, though, we just have cloud cover building in more and more ahead of an area of low pressure that's going to make its move as we go into your afternoon and evening. So you will want to keep that in mind. That's down to the south right now. Notice all that rain west of Lincoln and Omaha with low pressure centered in Kansas. That's going to creep northward, and that will be our weather maker later in the day and into the night. So here we go through Futurecast. We'll start zoomed out at least to an extent. Extent. We'll get an even bigger picture a little bit later on, but there's the rain. The closer to the Missouri River Valley you go, the more likely you are to see appreciable amounts of rainfall that's bookended by lesser amounts to the west and to the east. But still, considering some areas of Kelowland have not had measurable moisture of any variety in several weeks, this is at least something to 
watch. A cold front will then come on in and sweep the rest of this uh, moisture on out of here. Tuesday and the Wednesday, high pressure builds in and we'll have ourselves a pretty nice run there. But another cold front comes diving down as we go into Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. This is where I think we're able to squeeze in one more warm day. It's ahead of this front because on the back side of it, we do have change on the way. And it's not going to necessarily be something we talk about with regard to rainfall. Rather, if you're West River, we could be talking about a little bit of snow by the end of the week. Thursday into Black Friday, we'll get a disturbance that's going to try and make its way into the area and then clip our West River communities Thursday into Friday, maybe even try to send a couple of flurries to the east by Black Friday, but uh, chances are higher the farther west you go right now. Now, this is subject to change. Just keep this in the back of your mind if you have any travel plans for Thursday and Friday, especially if you are West River. From there, temperatures just continue to dive down toward and below average. There's that brief spike on Wednesday ahead of our cold front, only to have those colder temperatures come around by the end of the week. And they stick around with odds for below average temperatures being favored even as we head into the end of the month. Today, though, above average, 50s to near 60 with rain developing later in the afternoon and evening. And then I'll spread into Kelo land overnight with lows in the mid 30s to low 40s. The rest of your seven day forecast outside of that chance for rain, which lingers into Monday for Sioux Falls. It's largely dry, but it's progressively chillier. Notice 54 on Wednesday, then the bottom drop out and we're in the 30s Thanksgiving going into Saturday in Aberdeen a few showers overnight into Monday otherwise mainly dry uh, 50s though for today Monday and Wednesday but you're in the low 30s by Thanksgiving and Black Friday as well in Pier rain today and tomorrow some snow showers possible by Black Friday knows the temperature diving down to 31 for a high by Friday and in Rapid City a couple of showers this evening overnight maybe even in the early Monday morning but we'll also watch Wednesday with a high of 54 that will give way to 30s and 20s with the potential for some snow developing overnight Thanksgiving into Black Friday. Have a great day, everybody. For more on your local news, weather, and sports, you can always head on over to kelloland.com.